Hey everyone, Wyatt here. So we have a, a 1980-something Quadzilla, the 500 LTZ 500. It's been sitting, uh, doesn't start. It's a beast to kick over and the customer just wants me to go through the carburetor. So we're gonna get into removing the carburetor and giving it a good clean. So let's go over here and take a look at it. She is a two stroke. So, not too difficult to get into the carburetor on this one. You've got uh, the fuel obviously shut off here, pet cock, and then the carb is right here. Alright, I'm gonna start by just turning the fuel off. And then removing the fuel line. There's not really any fuel in the tank. Oh, it's loose. That's probably why this is all dirty right here. Let me get the whole line out of my way just to make it easier on me. Okay, so these are Phillips. The two clamps. All right, so I need the air box to move a little bit. So I'm gonna take these bolts out of the back of the box. Two bolts, 10 millimeter. Okay, so I, I took the bolts out of the back of the air box give me a little bit of room to move it see probably pull the whole thing off to clean it it's pretty dirty so it's freaking filthy I pulled just pulled the whole piece off so I can clean it, it is terrible so get it cleaned up for the customer now we should be able to pop the carburetor straight back and smash your finger in the process up against the frame right here. That's that's great. That's great. That's fun. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna bring it down. And there's two screws on top of the slide. They're just uh, Phillips. Now the slide should come out. Go. And I should have the carburetor now. Right. It's out. Let's go over to the bench. Yay. Okay, let's start by getting the carb all cleaned up. On the outside. And we'll get into the inside. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the slide up and out of here. So, my other hand, I'll move the camera a little bit. Okay, so I'm holding the slide with my left hand. My right hand, I'm gonna grab the spring and slowly pull it back. Okay, pull the spring up. Now I have the spring all bunched up at top, right? And the cable is dangling here. If you look down inside. There's a little plastic piece in here. Okay, kind of hard to see. I'm a lot of light, but you have to reach in and just gently grab it and pull it back. Okay, once you get that out of the way, you can push the cable down and back. Push the cable down and back, and it comes out. Don't lose your pieces. Okay, once you get the uh, slide off, there's two screws down in there. Just removing the screws. And just pushes up, make sure you don't lose the pieces. 
This is an adjustable needle. I'm leaving it right where it is. Um, you can see the varnish on it though. So this is what my goal is to clean off of this thing is all this varnish. You just line up the hole, put it on in. This will be slightly harder, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the, the needle back up. Set it in here. Okay, so now I have to put all those other pieces back together in this fun piece let's go back down okay so we have our cable let's push the that piece back okay now there's gonna be this little brass piece okay and it goes on like that and this bad boy slides down in here now what you're gonna want to do is You're gonna wanna not lose the spring. That's what we're gonna wanna do. There. <laughs> okay. So we put the spring in and we're gonna load it up. Push it all the way back up in there. You're gonna have to hold it with your hand. It's a pain in the butt, I know. Trust me, I know if your fingers get sore. Okay, got it. Then you have to put this piece over. Actually, it goes the other way, so your little clip is facing up. Okay. And then you're going to come right in. The light is working with us right now. Come in, you line up. You line up the cable into the groove. I know it's a pain. You line up that cable right in that groove. Okay? And you can see this piece. So you're going to want to get it to line up. Don't break it, obviously. Okay, once you get it to line up in there, you can pop the spring straight down. That's it. When you hit the throttle, vroom, 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 vroom. That's not really what it sounds like, but okay. The, the screws out here. bad after letting it soak for a while the the jet is rather uh <laughs> green yeah Yummy. that's the main jet right there so we want to pull this uh main jet out of here Six millimeter. Okay, and you pull this whole piece off. And our goal is to get down into that pilot jet, which is down in there. Obviously, I have to clean this thing, it's clogged. <laughs> the main's even clogged pretty bad. Let's go in here at the small standard. There's a lot to build up on the pilot jet. Okay, pilot's good and clean. Main jet's good and clean. Let's get the circuits cleaned. So 
I just took a punch, just punched the end a little bit so I can slide this out. So I'm going to have a look in here and make sure it was all cleaned out. I'm going to blow it out with some air. So the flow needle just slides in there like so. And you can put uh, this piece back over it. And then there's that little clip. So the little clip goes right around it. And then this little fellow just goes down here to hold it in place. Let's put this back on top. Slide the little rod through here. Okay, I might have to give it a little tappy tappy. So it's all the way through. And you can put your uh, Floats back on. Obviously, don't forget your pilot jet. Then you slide your plastic piece back over. And then you can put your main jet back on. Now you put your bowl back on. Let's get this uh, carburetor back in. So there's a little edge right here, and that little edge rides on the idle adjustment. And always a good rule of thumb is see how there's a little cutout on the bottom right there that that usually goes to the air side so it's a little flatter on this side so that cutout usually goes to the air side and going in there's a little notch on the top you want to make sure that, that notch goes right lines right up Now I'm going to put the air box piece back on that I did clean. Make sure you got a good seal.
All right, we'll see if I can start it. Stuck on the foot peg. Good times. 